Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. So, I said I had a lot of product coming in. And so we are doing another review of some of that product. And so today we are going to be looking at Urban Decay Primer Potion. And this is brand new in the box. It has not been opened. And it says, apply our best-selling weightless eyeshadow primer potion before shadow for long-lasting vibrant color and to prevent creasing. Plus, our, our doe foot applicator provides provide precise lay down every time. All right. And this is um this is in <laughs> original <clears throat> this is their original so um on their website they have several different colors um, uh, the darkest is sin then the next up from original is Eden that looks more like a um, uh, original looks more uh, like a regular nude color uh, the Eden uh, looks more like a tan color um, sin is quite a bit darker, a deep color, and caffeine is uh, a medium dark. So, um, and um, this retails just a minute for twenty four dollars, and it is. Um, just a minute here. It is, uh, 10, 10 mil, ml or 0.33 fluid ounces. All right. All right. And, uh, your first order, uh, you get. 15% off so just so you know I can't show you the website but um, go check it out for yourself and if you join their U UD Beauty Junkie Rewards um, um, then you're in there um, you get rewards for joining so Okay, so, again, this is brand new. I haven't opened it, nothing. I wanted to wait until we did this together. So, okay, so, um, it opens on one end. Okay, so... This is what it looks like. All right. And um, it just says eyeshadow base. Um, and then it has um, things about the product. So That's information about the product. All right. And there may even be ingredients. Yes, there is. Um, there's a caution about the product. And then all the ingredients in the product on the back. So, I'm not going to go through all that right now. All right. So, here we go. 
first that inward packaging i think this lid and the top here is so cute i've always liked it this is my first primer potion i've not had this before all right okay so this has a doe foot all right and um as you can see, it's quite a bit different from UD, not UD, excuse me, Milani. All right, so in this, you can also see, uh, here's a swatch. Okay, this goes on. Look how it goes on. Wow. See that? I applied. There, there it is. I applied, and look at that. I mean, um, Milani goes on completely different. It's when it sets, it dresses, it sets. Look at that. Okay. So I'm applying to my eyes with the doe foot. And this is completely different. So this is going to be cool. This is awesome. So there didn't seem to be any how to, like, uh, now there, I think there probably is, um, on the website. Let me see. Okay, so start by dabbing eyeshadow primer potion to the back of your hand. Oh, this is for, um, they have a beauty hack, a makeup eyeliner with eyeshadow primer potion. Okay, so you start by dabbing eye, eyeshadow primer potion to the back of your hand. Add your favorite shadow shade and mix together. Ma uh, your new favorite cream eyeliner has been created. Kind of cool. I think I'm going to try that. Okay, so. Um, okay, how to use. Apply just a touch of this formula before your shadow for more vibrant color and crease free all day staying power. Mix with your favorite eyeshadow or 24 7 glide on eye pencil for crease free. Custom cream shadows and liners. And then below that, uh, if you click, there's a link uh, to fold the to the full ingredient list. Uh, it says create endless eye looks at last with our not so secret weapon, eyeshadow primer potion. This creamy eye primer keeps your eyeshadow crease free, your eye color vibrant, and your application smooth. Formulated with polymer technology. This vegan beauty essential. Uh, vegan beauty essential service as the perfect base for your eyeshadow and eyeliner, filling in any surface imperfections and prepping lids for all they wear. Um, ingredient callouts, vegan, paraben free, cruelty free. All right, people. So we are going to, I already applied to one side and I'm applying to the other side. This stuff literally melts on contact. Alright. So. We got that done. Alright. Okay, so I just applied that. I showed you and already it's. Let me. Let me apply again here. Okay, you can see the liquid ish really liquid well a little you can see the dampness of it but it dries very quickly so all right so that's completely different and pretty cool actually all right so all right so today uh, my palette, before I get to that, um, I will be using this liner for my waterline. Milani Stay Put Eyeliner After Dark. <clears throat> and this <clears throat> is a mechanical pencil. Okay, no sharpening. You can. The sharpener and the uh, smudger is in the end. So, alright. So this is what I'm using for my waterline. And I will also be using my Milani. I use my Milani liquid after my eye look is on. That's the last liner I use before I'm done. So I will also be using that today. 
And since we already have our primer on, okay. First, before I start this, I'm going to show you what my eye looks like sans makeup. I try to rem I try to do this every um, every time I'm reviewing something that has to do with my eyes, be it liner, be it shadow, um, a new palette, whatever. Okay. Okay, so this is what my eye looks, no makeup, all right? All right, so I am now going in on my second eye here, and I'm putting on my um, liner. So I hope everybody's week is going well. And we are almost to the weekend again. So that's good. All right. Did that. And then, um, just a minute here. So, um, I have, um, um, I bought this. I buy this. And these. This is a continual purchase. Uh, these makeup cleansing wipes. Uh, 30 count. And I get this at Family Dollar all the time. And I really like them. They have vitamin A, C, E. Uh, and I believe aloe vera. Yeah, and aloe vera. I really, really like them. And they do very well at taking makeup off. So, um... They're a dollar, literally, for a package of 30, which isn't bad, and they do what they say, so I really, really like them. So I use them uh, all the time for makeup removal, and, you know, if I'm, uh, like, uh, when I'm reviewing or something like that, you know, if there's, you know, you are in the process of applying something and it goes in the wrong direction uh, I you know I just have this makeup wipe that I can reach for and it's just really great so I really like them and you know for a dollar aloe vera and all the vitamin infused I think that's pretty good okay now um I got my, I, my waterline lined. It's ready to go. So now what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to go in again and line the other side of that really quickly here. It's not as even on the other side. Okay, so uh, today I'm going to be using a palette. I did a review on and... I haven't found as many people, um, uh, reviewers, um, that know about Color Mates. This is a new palette I bought I've not used yet. And so today I'm going to use this palette. Uh, I'm using this palette because I don't have all the colors in here. That, um, they're different colors. So today I am going to be... Uh, it just says 12 long wearing fashion eyeshadow colors. Okay. So, um, um, I'm going to be using the blues right down here at the bottom on, on my lower lid. Okay. And then I'm going to be using this underneath. Okay. My lower lashes. So. First, what I'm going to do is I'm lining all over my lower lid with this, this farthest. Um, I'll do a, this is what this, it's, this blue looks like. All right. And this is going to go all over the whole lid. But these blues are just really unique. 
as soon as I saw them, I liked them. They are really, really, really pretty. So, that is what I, uh, I will be doing today. And it's been a while since I've used Color Mates at all. But they're a dollar store brand. I haven't found them anywhere else. Not even a fa family dollar. Um, LA Colors is at Family Dollar and the dollar store. This is only at the dollar store. And they have a website. They have um, blushes, highlighters, <clears throat> eye colors, um, all sorts of stuff, foundations. But they're just really an underrated brand in my opinion. All right. Now, I did that all over my lower lid. Now I'm going to go in with the next color right here. The very next one. And, oh, I didn't do a, there's a swatch of the second eye color. Okay. All right. And this color is really, really, really pretty. So I'm doing this in the middle of my eye. I don't, the blue has to be really unique for me to use it. Most of the time I don't use blues or there, they have to be a certain type of blue, a certain color. I found on Pinterest um, some blues that were just absolutely unique. And I really want the palette. So, we'll see. All right, so that, I put that in the middle of my lid and then the lighter is on the very inside. Now, what I'm going to do, this is the last color I'm using. This blue, right, right here. It's the last. And before I do that, I'm going to swatch that. You can see that. All right. Okay. Now, before I do that, though, I'm going to wipe that off. And. Um, wipe my brush off. All right. These are so handy. I just really like these. <laughs> they take the eye color off the brush so simple, and they're just really easy to clean. Air dry and put back in the um, their little holder, their little tin case. Okay, so now I'm using the blue on the end. So, in my opinion, not just eye color, like eye color brands, eye colors, um, 
not just the range of colors, that too, but the texture of colors. Um, um, and, uh, you know, also the application of colors uh, have come a long way um, from where it used to be. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, uh, this is from like the middle to the uh, end of, of my eye. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go back in um, with the middle color and uh, go over it again. So it looks really blue in the pan, but next to the blue I have on the outside of my eye, it almost takes up a grayish color, interestingly enough. And then I'm going to go in again um, with the original color that I used, and I'm going to reapply a little bit of that also. And I'm going to and this color uh, the first I used the first color I used is light enough to go around uh, to right underneath my uh, the corner of my eye on the bottom And then I will be taking uh, one of the red shades uh, to line my lashes underneath. All right, so. So most, many brushes, eye brushes are too big for my eyes. So I do somewhat of a light blend, if you will. With the same brush I just um, you know wipe it off and then just go back in and gently um, because I really like it when my shadow uh, you know each color has its own um, personality you know each eye color has its own shade and to me, when it's heavily blended, it loses its, uh, each color loses its own vibrancy, and I don't really like that. So, um, so I don't do a lot of heavy blending. Because I want it to maintain its color from the pan. Sometimes I understand uh, that, you know, the more that one blends, they can even make a new color, you know, and I appreciate that to a point, but um, when I really like the colors that I'm working with, I like them to keep their uniqueness, so I don't heavily blend so much. Oh, and now I don't always uh, wear foundation. Sometimes I get my skin aroused. Okay, so you probably noticed I didn't have foundation. So um, there's a little bit of gray in the middle. It's not gray. It's a blue, but for some reason it's it looks grayish in the middle. Okay, and then the heavier blue on the very end there. So, okay. So I'm going to finish on my other side, and then I'm going to be applying uh, the red shade. And um, underneath. 
I really want my eyes to um, stand out. And it, that does not. Sometimes I use the same uh, shade on top and bottom, but today I'm not doing that. So, it's April. And pretty soon May is going to be rolling around the corner. And probably really, 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 really warm temps. Are you all ready? Are you ready for um, May? Then we're going to be in the summer months. Okay, so I'm almost done. Put the other side down. really interesting how uh, one color all three different in the same family but one of them I don't know will take on a different tone kind of interesting there all right This is blue. Maybe I guess it's a bluish purpley color. But it looks it looks really blue. A bluish tone on my brush and in the pan. It is so pretty. I really, really like it. Alright. So Gonna do a light blend in the middle. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, put my um this right in the middle. This red, okay, um, underneath my lower lashes. Just, you know, to give it different color. Uh, uh, it will really make my eyes stand out more. And then my last um, will be my liquid liner, my Milani liquid liner. And my Milani liquid liner, boy, I it gives it gives your eyes an edge. I tell you what, it really does. It gives your entire eye look an edge. I really, really like it. All right. Okay, so one more thing here. So this primer potion is definitely different uh, application-wise of what I'm used to, but uh, the application itself, pretty good. So I definitely like it. 
All right. So, um, I think I'm going to go in again with my mechanical pen. And then I'm going to go over that with uh, my Milani um, liquid. So. Okay, so. Got so much stuff on my and my jugs of um, product. I've got product, man, and I've been looking for uh, bigger uh, makeup caddies to um, hold on my product and either get bigger jugs sitting here or um put the product some of the product in those jugs uh, away you know i mean i will be rotating product you know as i use different things but it all doesn't need to be up front but i mean i have a makeup jug i have a box of makeup and truly uh they're both loaded so um that tells you how much makeup um i buy but you know i just really like it and um you know i just find unique things about products and brands and you know I don't always see those unique things being talked about in reviews. You know, I don't know. Maybe they've seen those things and just, you know, um, you know, didn't know if it was just, you know, or maybe other uh, product brands did the same thing. But um, I just see things all the time about products, brands, and, you know, the products that you know uh do what they say uh so i see those things and i uh say something about it which is why i've got so many videos on you know the brands that do what they say the liners the eye products the um foundations Not everybody, uh, you know, but if it has a bunch of claims and it doesn't do what it, it says, you know, I'm going to note that too. I mean, if it doesn't make any claims, it's just this and it does just that, then, then that's it. But, and sometimes it does things that... I mean, no one found out about, or no one knew, and, you know, like, I'll notice things about products, and I will, um, then sometimes when I notice it, uh, you know, I'll use it again, and again, and, you know, really look for that thing. Uh, whatever it was, it wasn't advertising that did that, but it does do that, whatever that thing is. So then, you know, it, if it's a complete benefit to people and it's helpful to people, then, you know, I'm going to say something about it. You know, if you've got a product... Now, this is just an example, but if you have a product, it isn't, no one said, and it's not even on the box or anything, uh, or advertised that, you know, 
You can go in the pool with it, for example, and you can swim and it just stays put. That would be a benefit and something, a product that people, others would want to know about. So, you know, stuff like that. All right. So that is it. And uh, it's really, really dark in the pan, the blue on the outside, but not as much here. And um, the other two are blue. Um, the middle one is just a little bit, uh, the last one's very light and the middle one, as you can see, is a lot lighter, but that is the eye look. Um, and, uh, I don't think it's going to, uh, I think it looks exactly the same. I tried to get them exactly the same when I applied. All right. All right, so as you can see, I applied my uh, Milani, not Milani. Yeah, that's right. My Milani liquid. And you can see it really sets off the eye look. I really like it. It really stands out. All right. All right. So, um, all this says is, um, you know, for long lasting vibrant color and to prevent creasing. Plus, our doe foot applicator provides a provides lay down every time. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to give it another. Give it a little bit, take some more photos, and um, um, that will be it. So, um, I will be getting back with you guys in just, I don't know, uh, an hour or two, and we'll wrap everything up. So, I'll see you then. All right, everybody, I am back. Um... I made some changes to my eye color. Um, I didn't really like um, the original color. Uh, the blues that I used looked a whole lot lighter. Um, this is to refresh you what it looked like. Okay, so I changed that and what I did I went back to my original color mates and uh, this is the palette of the original color mates that I use all the time and the other was the new palette and what I did was I used um, this blue on the outside okay uh, the middle color and then I used this on the inside so the original color that I used on the outside is still there. Okay. I just didn't like, I didn't like these two. So I switched that and the red is there. So, <coughs> so now on the inside is this color. All right. And I will show you what that looks like. This is on the inside. All right, and then this uh, this is on the um, 
um, um, I changed it on the inside. You'll see. I'll show you. So, I will show you what I did. And I took lots of photos. Nothing has changed. Um, it has not faded. Uh, it has not creased. It has done none of that. <coughs> and it's still vibrant. Vibrant color. So, this is what it looks like. Okay, so starting from where I changed it. Okay, so just a minute here. All right. This is the original color. Okay. All right. Then I changed it here. It's been changed. All right. And my shut. Okay. Then. Can you see it a little bit better there um, on the inside color and then um, uh, the very inside it looks like a light purple color um, it's um, definitely lighter all right now you can see the different colors the best here uh, on the outside the farther outside is the color I originally started with, and then um, uh, this other color I changed to. Um, um, this. This color. This color right there on the outside. And then uh, the purple. The purple in the middle. All right. So... Uh, I just, there was something about the blue and then uh, the colors, in my opinion, I didn't think they uh, looked like the color in the pan as well. So that's why I switched. But this color is just absolutely uh, from this other palette. I like it very much. Um, and it's still vibrant. It's still beautiful. Um it has not um, um, faded any of that creased still the same so um, I think that primer potion is a good primer um, I'll be using that. I've been using Milani, but I will be using that. Um, for a while now. Um, I may have to get used to it a little bit just because of, uh, you know, the, the, texture and the characteristic of it is a little bit different from Milani, but uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. All right. So uh, the color is beautiful and I will be using it with different palettes. So, um, you know, we can get a really good idea. And let me see about if I can do another swatch. And really, I didn't allow you okay here we go here is some product off the doe foot all right I'm gonna see if I can apply it and this is the inside of the that's the inside what it looks like all right you can see the product in there and I'm going to see if I can apply it there we go. There we go. Better. That's what it looks like. All right. And as you can see, it looks like it's starting to melt down really quickly. All right. So, um, I like it. And that's what it looks like on the outside. So, um, I most definitely like it. Um, so, 
I'm happy thus far. You know, this is the original. This is what it looks like. All right. So I think that about wraps this up uh, for this video. Um, I have many more coming, many more on the way. I have a lot more product um, that I am reviewing and wear testing and all of that. So everybody, like, subscribe, click the notify for the next video because many are coming your way. All my incoming subs, welcome. Thank you for being my subs, people. I love you all. Have a great night, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everybody.